Grant, are you okay? You've been in there a while. Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. Why did you lock the door? I told you not to lock the door. What are you doing in there? Just give me a sec, okay? I'm coming in. Mom, you can't just come into my room like this. You're doing drugs? It's nothing, okay? It's nothing. You said you quit. I don't need a lecture right now, Mom. Just give him back. No. What are you doing? Stop! I can't believe you just did that! I don't even know who you are anymore. Where is my son? The one who wanted to be somebody. The one who wanted to start his own business and help people. This isn't him. I told you I'm gonna quit, okay? I have been trying to help you. If you don't stop, you could end up in jail. Or worse. Please hear me. You have to go back to rehab. Rehab? I can't go back there. That counselor, what's his name, Phil? He said I'm never gonna change. Have you changed, Grant? Look, I know it was hard for you when your dad passed away. But this isn't the way. I don't have time for this, okay? I gotta go. There he is. What's up, Danny? What's been up with you, man? Still working on that business and stuff? Yeah, haven't really gotten around to it yet. But uh, it's gonna be big. Real big. Yeah, right. Anyway, you got the cash? You got the stuff? Yeah, man. Right back here. Hey, Danny. Who's this guy? No, no, stop. Look at you, Grant. You will never change. Never. Good luck with your business. It's not a big deal, okay? I just need to borrow some money. No. That's it. Enough is enough. Grant, I love you with my whole heart. But this has got to stop. Mom, I don't need another lecture. Do you think your father would be proud of you? This is it. You are going back to rehab. What? Mom, no! Don't do this to me, okay? I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. Son, I know you can change. There is a greatness inside you. But in order to change, you have to change. Mom, you can't just kick me out. Go. Just go. I can't look at you like this anymore. Cardone. Grant? I thought I'd see you here again. 14 days clean. <laughs> I didn't think you'd last 14 hours, to be honest. Here's your release paper, sign this. You know, everyone here said you're doing real good, but I know you'll be back in rehab real soon. No, I won't. 
you know, I'm going to start a business, maybe write a book. I'm going to help people. <laughs> help people. Grant, you will never change. Will never change. Will never change. Son, I know you can change. But in order to change, you have to change. You know what? I am going to change. Going forward, I'm never going to do another drug in my life. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, the truth is you are a drug addict. You're either going to wind up dead or back here in rehab. No. I've got big goals. You're going to be asking for my autograph one day. You'll see. <laughs> no, your only goal should be to stay off of drugs. Grant goes back to his mom's house and is tempted to go back to his old ways. But this time, he finally makes the right decision. He applied for a job selling cars and pretty quickly became a top car salesman. He sold more cars than anyone else in his company, but that was just the beginning. The new Grant had bigger dreams, 10 times bigger. He started writing books and over time, Grant became one of the best selling authors in the world. Grant started speaking to small crowds, and then those small crowds turned into massive crowds. Grant finally was living the life he dreamed of, a life that he knew his dad would be proud of. Then one day, he happened to run into Phil. Mr. Cardone, Grant? Yeah. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Phil, counselor from when you were in rehab. Yeah, I remember you. You're, you're the guy that said I'd never be anything more than a drug addict. I really regret saying that. I'm so sorry. You, you, you got one of my books? This? <laughs> yeah, it's for my daughter. Uh, she's a huge fan. Would you actually mind sure. signing it? Yeah, happy to. Man, how did you do it? All the books, all the businesses, and helping out all these people? Took some great advice from a wise woman. She's told me, to change, you gotta change, and I just 10 x it. Thank you so much. Who was that, dear? That was Phil, the, the, the counselor from rehab. He's reading one of my books. Wow. Your dad would be so proud of you.